welcome to a new vlog. I am in PGC. I've taken your recommendations. I'm from instant first impressions. I feel like I stepped back into Manhattan. It's very much giving me essences of New York. I once went there when I was 18 and I loved exploring the city. It's definitely a place that I recommend seeing once in your life. Especially if you like your rom-com movies, Gossip Girl, all of that good stuff. It's amazing. But anyway, today is all about exploring this area and finding out more about the modern parts of Manila, which is incredibly beautiful and it's given me a little bit of flashbacks of back home. So there's quite a few people that have relocated to the Philippines, in particular to Manila, and I've actually got places here in BGC, so I can understand why, potentially because of it being quite Western. Like I said, it's got nods to the US, and it's very very modern like everything like in my other videos that i mentioned seems to be super organized which i love it's a nude video <laughs> filming i'm catching connor mid filming if you guys want to see behind the scenes you've also got some tunes happening it's a dj set i, I presume it's like a pop-up event i'm not sure which seems to be happening quite a lot here in Manila. <laughs> Uh, or just in general when we've been in the Philippines we've seen a lot of pop-ups here and um, yeah I just I like this vibe I could easily get lost in here and eat lots of delicious food and immerse myself into a bit of a challenge I heard Tyler Water playing which is a tune great song I definitely maybe have done a little bit of a shake to myself in Connor's video so you might see that maybe dancing away but I love like little pop-ups where you can get coffee, drinks, shop, you can sit on a terrace which is great, it's very much like a French European thing map, you don't really get that much in the UK. I love that people are going on electric scooters around. This guy is doing it effortlessly in his outfit. I do not trust myself on an e-scooter at all. I'm quite clumsy. But it does look a lot of fun. And I know that Connor did it last time with Josh, so I might be convinced. And I also think it's super cute that it's like a pink colour as well. Very Barbie-like. Honestly, he is. He is going for it. Flawless on the scooter. I don't trust myself on that. <laughs> well, if you want to watch my video, you can. But I'll link on it this, down below. On this, this particular area here, there were, there were stores in this area, which is blocked off from the road and there like selling uh, some sort of accessories oh earrings. so this is where you were trying to find the gift for me yes it was there and there were smoothies and stuff and obviously the structure of the place is exactly the same just not the this it's barren now so they've, they've got rid of it yeah but oh that's a shame very, i wanted to see some local vendors because yeah. you tried looking for a really cute gift for me which was very sweet so if you guys haven't seen that video yet i'll link it here so you can see his first initial impressions here if you do work remotely that you can work from i can see people working from here casually and doing the work so it's nice to see that you guys have that lifestyle out here in the middle of two but yeah where are we gonna go babe well apparently inside here i spoke to a, a filipino so i can't get my words out <laughs> who said there's a food court which has both good foreign and filipino food so we might head on in there soon yeah. okay so where that go apparently it's just here where you see these red barriers you take a left it's inside oh okay for the restaurants here i love that we very much like the kind of tropical aesthetic mm -hmm. seeing the greenery yeah. which is beautiful here it's very modern isn't it it's yeah. uh it's pretty uh it's busy but like not too busy yeah if you guys have ever been to manchester as a city anyway there's not much greenery in the city so this is stuff which people back home for us would love in piccadilly gardens to have more greenery and a place for people to sit down and have this sort of like communal area which i think is starting to kind of appear in the city but i love this sort of vibe it is so beautiful i assume these are all office blocks which is a beautiful view here and yeah you can just have a nice coffee break, even a shop if you want. They've got nicely placed Zara, which is genius on Zara's behalf because you'll have people obviously looking for smart wear to wear for the office. So yeah, really, really beautiful. Food choice is probably gonna be more frozen yogurt, which I've not had in a really long time. It's kind of 
ticking a few boxes that I'm looking forward to and I'm wanting to have as like a sort of breakfast feel. Um, so it seems to be a popular one for people in here. I assume because obviously it's so hot, you want to cool down. Hello. Um, can I have the large tub, please? Large tub. Yes. Um, can I have the um, dark chocolate, please? Uh, strawberry. And what's this one at the back here? What's that? This one, mom. Yes. Almond. And that one on the left? Filipino white chocolate. Filipino what, sorry? Filipino white chocolate. What, what's that? Is that like a crumble? What, what is that like? Like a wafer? Like a wafer? I'll give that a try. A little chuckle to myself. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. If anyone has seen this particular film, you know the joke, but Jeff. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. Why is your name Jeff? Do you get the... Why have you got Jeff on it though? I don't know, I said my name was Joe. <laughs> i got chocolate all over me. No, you are Please show up. Um, I would like to trick you, but you've not. You've not. Are you jealous a little bit? Of what? What I mean. No. It's lovely. It's perfect. So it's very hot today. And I don't know what this biscuit thing is, which the lady told me it was a Filipino biscuit and I like it. Digestive biscuit, but crushed up. Little shopping area, which is just across the road from where I just was, that looks really nice. Where some really, really interesting architecture, seating area, big store as well, which is great for your fitness gear. I love Nike. I have quite a few of their things. Yeah, like I'm just blown away by that like wow and this is what i'm saying where it reminds me a lot of america with like the high apartment blocks the event here looks, looks really fun what's the event today so make one of my honors you get to mix and match your oh, souls oh you can have your own custom that's yeah, cool mix and okay match, yeah. so you can also have bins attached okay and um, how much is this to do this um it varies on what you're getting Okay, I, I have very small feet, so can I have kids shoe? Kids? Um, <laughs> the smallest sizes we have is... Three to four, yeah, yeah this is me, four. yeah, okay. Yeah, and okay. for this year, you can also paint on your own pair. You can Ooh. paint, yeah. Oh, okay, I might make a pair for me, my boyfriend, if he doesn't come here before me. Yeah, so you can explore, um, just register yes. the area. So they'll just ask you your name, email, then you get free Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, I love that! Yeah, I was saying that Filipinos love flip flops. You have to wear them because yeah. it's so hot. It's like yeah. an essential. And this brand in particular is a favorite here yeah. in the Philippines, isn't it? So let's go to your area. Yeah. This one is our digital kiosk. Yes. For an easier access, you may um, place an uh, place an order with regard um, what do you like, uh, souls, wrap, and put it on some pins that you can. So use. all of the colors and everything. I love yeah. that. Okay, that's fine. And also, if you want to, or if you wish to see the actual pair, you can also check it out on our um, make your own Havana wheel. Yes. Then someone will let us see from. Oh, okay. Then we also have different activities. So after you select, go put um, what's your favorite style. You can paint, paint on your pairs there. Fun. What? You like 
have me decide? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is just. Do you want me to order for you? You don't mind? Do you mind? No problem. <laughs> you can introduce yourself well, if you want. How, how, how to do this? Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Make Your Own Avianas. <laughs> Hi. We're happy to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. I'll hold it for you. Thank you. So what? What colors? Filipino summer, when does that start? March. March, okay. In until our, when? March until May. May, okay. So that's very different. For us in the UK, it is June until August. Oh, oh my. Yeah. And so it's different. Ah, yeah. okay. So when is actually like the best time, do you think, to come to the Philippines? During summer because we have um, a lot of beaches. Yeah, yeah. And do you get more tourists coming here around that time? Yeah. Yeah. What are the kind of most popular people that you see here, like country-wise? Do you get um, UK. UK, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Love rich people. Yeah. Uh, people from the cold area. Yeah. Uh, cold, cold area. <laughs> we give it away, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Where we come from. <laughs> so a Filipino actress is here right now, which all these guys absolutely love. I've seen a little bit of Filipino TV here. customized flip-flops which will be forever a fundamental part of my wardrobe at this moment in time 
with me and Connor traveling around the world together. They're gonna come around with me. So to you guys that helped make it, you'll have a special moment in my wardrobe forever. <laughs> like blown away by the architecture around here and just like the amount of flat blocks that you have here. Like it's insane. Like everywhere you go, there's something. Like there's more shops, there's another donut store, which I mentioned if you've watched my SM mall, I know that you guys like your donuts. Like Krispy Kreme seems to be a real favorite here, along with Dunkin' Donuts. I noticed when um, we were traveling to Palawan, there was a few people that had them like on the plane. So you'll have to let me know why is that the case? Why do you guys like donuts so much? Crossroads. These little parts of BGC definitely remind me of the US and getting that New York vibe, which I kind of like. So, what's your name? Frank Pasmolo. Frank Pasmolo. And yours? Jason. Jason. See, I've, I've noticed a lot of Filipinos have J names. The Spanish influence. Blanca, yeah. Blanca. Yes, I am. Yes. Okay, noted. I will. I will subscribe. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. So what a lovely gentlemen. This is what I love about the Philippines is you guys just want to get involved. I've just arrived where I think is the SM Aura Mall. Here which has a lovely greenery. Hey, lots of people have been out shopping. A bit more of a traffic build up as well with it being the weekend. But I believe the market market that I'm looking for is down this road. So according to Google Maps, good old trusted Google Maps, <laughs> I'm four minutes away on foot. Uh, <laughs> are you all from here? Are you all from here? No, yeah. no. 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 What do you like about here? Why do you like coming here? Cars, cars. Cars, cars. 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 you like cars? cars. Like cars. fast luxury? Yes. yes. What's your favorite? Lambo. How old are you, all of you? 13. 13. 13. 13. You're very cool 13 year old. Yeah. I would, you've all got the style. <laughs> I'm from England. Wow. You guys have got the style. Stassi, look at that. The shoes and everything. Cool 13 year olds. <laughs> All right. Subscribe. Yes. Subscribe to. For all your names. Thanks, guys. I love that. The young kids here are so fun and outgoing, and they just like want to get involved and learn more about you here as when you're a foreigner which is lovely to see i think kids for us back home don't really go out like that and have fun uh, they miss out on it which is a, it's a shame but i just i love how they just wanted to come and say hello which is really really sweet to a bit of connor which i think he might actually like i might get him something like this for his his birthday he likes this kind of style I love like my tie-dye shops. Like Billy, Billy Kong. I feel like this is maybe a thrift shop, which is a bit of me and 100 pesos, which isn't bad for like a t-shirt. Got some t-shirts here. I think I'll come back and see, but I think that could be a contender. And maybe potentially a top for me too, but we have a lot of options here for clothes Got some shorts here loose trousers which is great that's something i highly recommend if you're going out here to the philippines sorry or doing any backpacking is loose fitted trousers i took my polka dot pair of trousers and they've been a holy grail in my trip out here to breathe because it gets very very hot we've also got some nice white items if you like the white clothes which seems to be a favorite amongst the local girls nice bits of jewellery just interesting to see got some more items here which is definitely a bit of Connor I feel like I'm a little bit overwhelmed with choice <laughs> you don't want to say hello? <laughs> a little shy a little shy um, <laughs> you guys want to say hello though Hello. <laughs> I like it. We're matching. Yes. 
which can work nicely for a cover up. These are super affordable and I wish pricing was more like this in the UK for clothes. To be able to get in vintage shops because it gets more and more expensive. Oh, oh hello. I like your shoes. <laughs> I like your shoes. The shoes small. They are very cute. Star. No. Thank you. You're very cute. What's his name? Don Robert. Don Robert, you have a very cool name. That's a movie star name, Don Robert. Yes? Thank Be a famous you. star, Don Robert, one day? Thank you, Bo. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. You're very, very sweet boy. You gave me a little cute kiss on my cheek. That's like how, how sweet kids are here. Got some cool shorts here, which I do like as well. They're nice. Hello, are these for women or for men? Unisex. Unisex, okay. Interesting. And what, what is what is the sizing like? I'm thinking the Okay. I kind of like men's medium. I always steal my boyfriend's. Like the size though. Kind of like your, maybe your sort of size. Okay, yeah, that's the kind of style. So I don't I don't like it too tight on my legs. I like breathable. Okay, but So that's 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 perfect. But do you have any do you have any other colors? Yeah, this. Oh, so all of them are the same size. Yeah, same size. Also. Okay, nice. They're pretty cool. Can I see this one? I don't want to knock it. I don't want to knock anything over. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, they're nice. And they're, they're your size? Yeah. See, this is this is a challenge. My boyfriend will probably end up liking them as well. <laughs> we both like similar clothes. Um, is it possible for me to try on over my 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 shorts? Can I see? Yeah. Over, yeah? So I'm gonna see. This is like one of my, my <laughs> tips I give to people <laughs> is wear clothes that you can try on things over the top. <laughs> See how this fits. Everyone's watching. <laughs> You're this is your subscriber month. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. These might be a little bit short for my boyfriend from his bum. <laughs> but they are cool, they work with the outfit, right? <laughs> okay, so a little bit a little bit small, unfortunately. But they could have this been... month, if you like dry feet and then the urban pipe. I have a size. Yeah, I kinda wanna get him something like this yeah. that's like colorful uh, and different okay. so this uh Baldroy. yes <laughs> yes he very much he likes the um the the two-piece yeah man. the two-piece colors okay i'll give you i'll give you this back yeah, um but I'll, I'll see if there's potentially something else i'll have a look around and come back if that's okay fortunately those shorts were not a contender for connor even though that would have been a really nice color that we could potentially share together there's some nice bits of jewelry here some cute stuff for kids. It's nice little earrings. Little hair clips. Which I do have a hair clip that I bought in the airport back from Palawan, which I like. Headbands, I used to love wearing them as a kid. Very cute. You can even get ear piercing here, which I'm um, personally not sure about, but it's nice little bits of jewelry. Be a cute one here. It's nice. Hello. You don't mind me vlogging? It's okay. <laughs> you have very pretty jewelry. Very pretty. Do you do you make these? Yeah. Do you do you make them? Yes. Okay. It's very very nice. I like gold. The gold is very very pretty. Nice little change. How much? How much are these? This one two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. I'll just have a quick round look around here. Yes, ma'am. Hello. There's nice little gold jewelry here. Nice little initials, which make 
some really really good gifts here and you got some like chains here as well for some men just uh, selling quite a few of the same things so if you're wanting to get a gift or a souvenir for yourself make sure that you negotiate and get a good deal I'm sure people work around an offer for you got some other t-shirts here which I think is like vintage again I think I came here before which is quite cool pink pen and black pink they like the Korean music here and to be fair I do like black pink as well I would like to see them live actually so I was on my way to meet Connor but I'd take a detour through the mall and I found this sustainable shop called Frankie which a lot of people have recommended coming here that has eco-friendly sustainable fashion to love they're so cute it's nice to see bags. kind of the style which my cousins made bags on they're unusual as well the little tote bags are pretty cool which is something I definitely get family for gifts so I've just found some bags that have caught my attention which I calculated for a price point they are at 999 pesos which is about 14 pound 11 which isn't too bad for a custom bag like this which is made with a zip and it has nice pockets and stuff and i'm quite intrigued i'm quite drawn by the blue i think because i've been on quite a color journey today which i think would be really nice to wear and also i'm supporting a local Filipino brand. There we go. Okay. So I've arrived. I'm here. What do you think? Do you like? You look like a new man. I've not seen I you. I like a new man. Get up and observe <laughs> your man. You look all glamorous. I like it. It's like it has been before. Swept back. And the man called uh, Julie Venn. Did you like? Yeah. Aww. In the way to the bar. It's a very cute spot for a date night, which is kind of a bit like this for us, isn't it? A mini date night. So we've not actually been to a bar. I know, we've not had one for a while. We haven't. Hello, sir. Hello, really Hello. wow. Hello. 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 We have not had reservations, wow. but we would like to uh, have a drink. Yes. It's the amaretto. Oh, that is good. That is so that's a, what you had last that's like time. A, that's like a, for a cocktail, like an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. I knew you'd like it. Yeah. Because that was what I had in my Coke that time when we were in Palo Alto. And you said, oh, I liked that. Yeah. So Connor's got me a nostalgic drink, Purple Rain. Oh, See if it's like the old days. Yeah, it's actually pretty good to be fair. Can I try some? Okay. We're working our way for lighting so you guys can see actually what's happening here. That's cool. I'm going to sign off the vlog here after a great day exploring BGC and taking in this wonderful view. Thank you for watching the vlog and I'll see you in the next one.